Okay, hi there, uh, it's Russell again, and this time it's something a bit different. I've got a mystery package. I actually know what this is, in fact. It's going to be the Ardu Boy, uh, an Arduino based thing that looks like a ga miniature Game Boy that was on Kickstarter and they set up their own website uh, selling the item. Uh, go and check it out, arduboy.com. I'll put a link at the bottom. Uh, of the video for that but anyway this has arrived um, somewhat disappointingly uh, not only did it get charged obviously the cost of the Argy Boy and shipping from the States but good old British VAT I don't know where you can see that there that's a total price of an additional fee of 23 pounds and 12 new pence frankly disgusted by that but there you go let's get in here and see what the heck this is all about, see if it's been worth waiting six months for, um, nearly six months, I ordered this in May, finally got here, and obviously we're in October, right, so we got, I actually ordered two, one for me, one for a friend, uh, this is the boxes, these are obviously not what you'd call retail packaging, I don't think, or maybe they are, I mean there's uh, stuff on the back there, shows you, it's only a black and white display, uh, it's total flash memory of 32K, 2.5K RAM, 1K EEPROM, uh, 16 megahertz processor, 128 by 64 pixel display, and a lithium polymer battery. So, oh, a piezo speaker as well. So, this isn't going to be incredibly powerful by any means. It's intended as a hobbyist device. Uh, I don't know. And it's easy to learn to program and create your own games. And there are some fabulous little games for this, considering its limitations, if you call it limitations, of course. Open source gaming platform, make and share 8-bit games online for free. I don't know whether that's focusing. Is it? I'm not sure whether it is. No, maybe not. Anyway, let's take a look at what the start to play it says there as well. I will only open one of these, because obviously the other one is, is for a friend of mine. No, it comes with, this is all you get. Uh, what looks like um, one of these anti-static packages with the Argy Boy inside and they've actually now included this, apparently this is a new feature it's a USB connector, obviously not very long, maybe what's that, 8 inches magnetic, that's about the coolest part of that I think quite interesting USB connector at this end, obviously micro USB at the other now I'm not sure how we get into this, uh, there doesn't seem to be Ah, oh, here we go. Yes. Okay, I'll take it back. It's just a, it's just a zip packet, a ziplock bag. Right, so what do we get inside? A fabulous piece of pink foam. That's probably worth quite a bit of money there. But this is the actual item. This is it, everybody. I have been waiting nearly six months for this. Uh, the Ardu Boy. It's available in several colours. I chose white, uh, just because it kind of looks... Well, it just looks kind of like cool. Uh, let's take this cellophane off. Obviously, just to protect it in transit. Uh, so, what do you get? A D pad. Anyone who's familiar with Nintendo uh, DS's and so on will be familiar with that. And an A and a B. And they say, look, that that's located under the A of RG Boy, and that's located under the B of RG Boy. So, that's your A and B. Apparently, that's a hint. Um, I don't know whether, what, what else we've got in here, really. Obviously, a USB connector at the bottom, switch at the top. Um, small display, I'm not sure whether there's any power in this at all or in fact how to switch it on there we go, oh actually there is can anybody see that I wonder not very well, good old focusing no, oh, hopeless, ok uh, dear, all good, right well this is I don't know if you've got any you're not, this is not going to be much fun for you guys, I'm afraid. Um, this is Mystic Balloon, which I've seen. Press key. Okay. Can anybody? No. He's got this little guy. He's got a vacuum thing for sucking things up, and he can jump and collect coins. It's extremely retro. I will again post a link to this, uh, pictures of this online. It's written by... Um, a group of guys, well, uh, well, a team of people, I don't know, guys or girls, graphic designers, um, and so on, uh, who are obviously very competent because there's a load of games from them for the RG Boy. And quite frankly, that is pretty cool. Gosh, that's rubbish. 
so sorry that the quality of that's no good. I'll see if I can get something better, uh, or at least post videos of these things. Anyway, that's it. It's a tiny little pocket size thing, same size as a credit card, uh, useful for learning to program, uh, hobbyist programming. Someone suggested making a giveaway um, uh, business card, but frankly, the price of this, uh, you've got to be pretty rich to be giving these away as business cards, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I think there's a dual color LED over here on the left, which is doing nothing at the minute. I think it's red and green, maybe even tricolor. I'll have to check that out. Um, sort of metal, metallic back with RG Boy printed on there. I can just about see that maybe. Four screws in the corner, so hopefully if you have any problems, you can open it up and fix them. And that's it. That's the RG Boy. Uh, that's what you get in the pack for your money. Uh, I do hope anybody ordering them now doesn't have to wait six months like me. Um, it's a fabulous project. Uh, the guy who ran it and created it is, is a really smart guy. I just think he was overwhelmed with orders and it's taken time to get the, uh, as a one-man band essentially, get the whole production done in China uh, and shipped to the US and then out to the rest of the world. So I think he's done a great job. A bit disappointed with the VAT costs and the import duties and so on. But there you go, that's, that's the UK for you. Anyway, have a look at the RG Boy online. Um, get coding and enjoy. Thanks a lot for joining me. Bye.